Uh huh. Okay, now we're starting. Okay. All right. Hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> um, this is Anna, Rachel, and Glenna. And this is the first morning show of the RNC, uh, the Republican National Convention. The future of RNC. Which is not actually happening today, as you may have heard. The um, postponed RNC, but it, it's not reflected in the 17 levels of security you have to go through to get true. to this breakfast. Let's, let's just do some preliminary observations on how this is different from the DNC. Uh, where to begin? Yeah. No shuttle harder, service? No or, harder to get to the food. It's, <laughs> less free food. The, everything's fenced off. The security here is uh, so much more elevated and, and apparent than it was in Denver. And it's strange it's because... So fewer people there's, around. There's nobody here. The president's not here. The vice president's not here. And the McCain's not, not here. I mean, I haven't even really seen any protesters. The protesters got arrested, apparently. Yeah. Preemptively arrested. Preemptively arrested. In their homes. Because because actually, does that... Now I have to say, so the reason why, of course, the RNC got postponed is because of Gustav. And I was listening to the coverage of Gustav, and it reminded me of here, like, where they're preemptively just arresting people for breaking curfew. Yeah. No. You know, and for not evacuating the city. And I'm like, is that constitutional? If you really, if you arrested someone for breaking curfew, would that hold? It's like an old Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where, where if you think about a crime, right. we're going to arrest you in advance. I thought Actually, that was maybe a Tom Cruise movie. Or, oh, maybe it's or perhaps a George Orwell novel. Yes. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> anyway. Perhaps a CSI Miami. Yes, that, also that. Anyway, that's, uh, there was also, I think, fewer events. and. Uh, but what events there are, they're giving money to the Red Cross. Yes. I don't know about the Sammy Hagar. I don't know if Sammy Hagar gave money to the Red Cross last night. We went to a Sammy oh, Hagar concert last night that was an RNC event uh, with Sammy Hagar playing at the bar that Purple Rain was built in. And it was... That's a lot of pop culture and weight. Yes, well, it was It was actually such a cliche, the crowd, that it was almost too good to be real. It was a lot of khaki pants and button-down shirts. And pearls. And pearls and black hat and shoes. See, yeah. I actually went to a cocktail hosted by a Republican lobbying firm. And um, they, I, I wrote and asked if they were going to cancel it. And they did write back saying, no, no, we're not going to cancel, but we are going to donate however much money we spend on it to the Red Cross. What is this, like a carbon offset? <laughs> like, it's a guilt offset. Right? It, is I mean, it, offset. it did make me feel better. I mean, I knew the more money I made them spend, the more money would be going to, to, those, get, get them, to Gustav. Well, let's, Gustav. let's talk about Gustav, which is, I guess, getting very close to our right? They but think also, it's going to pass west to the city, although the flood, they think sometimes when that happens, it gets the heavier rain, so it could be a big flood. But they think the uh, levees might hold this time. Well, just very quickly to wrap up. I think Gustav is happening right now. So anyone who's watching this knows more than we do about right. it. Um, but we can talk about what it means for for McCain to have, I think, personally, I think he made that call to, to cancel today. I think I don't think McCain is ever coming here. I think they're going to cancel tomorrow. And Wednesday and Thursday, McCain is going to accept his nomination off-site somewhere in Louisiana with, like, boots on, unless everything digging okay. dirt. With, with Sarah Palin. With Sarah Palin. She will be shooting looters. <laughs> She'll be shooting looters. Sarah Palin's not here. This, I mean, I think this is so significant. How, She's not what, here. What, what, no, no, I think I saw that she had arrived today. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I read all the Huffington Post. Well, that can, it cannot be wrong. I, I'm pretty sure that the I know that you was Sarah Palin in St. Paul. Okay. Because you, know you wrote it. I did not wrote it. I just read it. <laughs> okay. I can read. Right. But um, Gustav. No, not this morning. I haven't okay. had Vanessa's coffee. Gustav. Gustav. I don't even drink coffee. Um, <laughs> I think the the PR benefits, not to be crass, but the PR benefits have been enormous. This, is, this was the chance to get Katrina right. And in so doing, it's subtly erased the burden of having gotten Katrina wrong. I don't agree with that. I don't at think all. it's erased it, but I think that I think that we all we are seeing a definite attempt to acknowledge the flaws. I think it's it, to put it, a distance between McCain correcting. and Bush, but I don't think yeah. it's correcting anything. Oh, I don't well, think it's correcting. I think it's like yeah, tell Donna Brazil mm -hmm. that you correct, she's corrected no, 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 it. No, no, no. I don't think it has corrected. I think it's creating the impression. What I what I worry about is that this will be a sort of a PR coup, and that Katrina, which has not been an issue really mm -hmm. in this election, Too little will of an issue. sort of recede, and and everybody will be like, "Woo, we got it right this time." Everything's I awesome. think I think that what it's going to bring Katrina to the forefront because there's going to be comparison pictures, there's gonna, you know, and we're gonna it's it's going to elevate our awareness of the images of Katrina, which may or may not work to McCain's advantage in well, the well, sense that it can measure the difference of how he handled it. Well, I think that. This is also an example to get sort of meta and not to be crass. Not to be crass, we're just going to start saying that. 
Um, it, that's that's the name of the show now. Right? Yeah. Not to be fast. That's a great name. <laughs> um, uh, is I think that this is a sign. This is an example of how McCain would govern, and it's not necessarily a good example. Right. It is like he made a call on his own. You know, like just making a bunch of gut calls. calls. Made a gut call on his own. There wasn't a lot of planning that went into it. Everyone's scrambling. His, his own team is like, ah. Yeah. So. I think for better or for worse, we're seeing the new face of the Republican Party. I think it was. I mean, I think it was the right call. I don't know how the GOP could have gone through no, this they convention have done without acknowledging what was going on. The Gustav story, particularly yesterday, when it seemed to be just a, like a path of straight to destruction, um, worse than Katrina. I don't know how anything else could seem to be as important a story. And with that, should we like make let's do a little telephone. Sure, yeah. Um, you can all send... Go to Red Cross. Red Cross, donate. Disaster relief. Disaster relief. And um, food, clothing, canned foods. Money. Every little bit helps. Yeah, I, I will all do it today, too. Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah.